bow tie, yeah, 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 bow tie, yeah. <gasps> no, no, you don't get to do that. What a jerk. Oh, I know, right? All my life, I've, I've never liked jerks. <laughs> look at that, look at this. Hey, there's a crosswalk. There's a crosswalk. There's no crosswalk. Yes, there is at the corner. You're supposed to cross at the corner, you jerk. That, that is dangerous for, for them to do that. Hey, that guy just cut me off. Oh. Oh, no. It's okay, um, just, yeah. You're lucky my husband's here. I don't want to upset him. Bow tie, yeah, 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 bow tie, yeah. Jeremy A. Fareed wrote, I was working in Chicago for a few days, and one night I worked really late and couldn't find my car. I was wandering downtown for about an hour, carrying a bunch of equipment, and it got heavy. I went into this construction area and set my stuff down on top of this pile of junk under a tarp. Except it wasn't a pile of junk. It was a guy. He yelled at me, get out of here, and I grabbed my stuff, and I ran a few blocks before I calmed down enough to set my stuff down again. Oh, Jeremy A. Fareed, it's always a bad idea to put a pile of something on somebody else, especially if you don't ask first. But thanks for sharing your story. That was awesome. Thanks for all sharing your stories with me. And I'm excited to see what road rage stories you want to tell me about for next week. I'll see you soon. Your friend, Bowtie.